All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic data structures, iterate through the keys of an object with a for in statement. All right. So sometimes we need to iterate through all the keys within an object. Pardon me, within an object. So we can use a for in loop to do this. So the for in loop looks like this. So we've got const refrigerator. It's this object right here with a milk uh, property and an eggs property. All right. And so we do for const food in refrigerator like this. And then when we say console.log food comma refrigerator food, it's going to give us milk one referring to the food, which is <laughs> this is hard to understand, but let me try to explain it. It's referring to refrigerator, but pardon me, it's referring to the key, the first key in refrigerator, which is milk. That's what the food is. And then the second key in refrigerator, eggs. All right. Uh, so basically, okay, guys, like this is like how we do for loops for objects. Okay. Since we can't just say let I equal zero, whatever, 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 like we can with an array. This is how we do it with objects. So the first, so this word always refers to the key. And then this refers to whatever uh, object we push into this, okay? Into the for loop, okay? So uh, basically this first one's gonna be the key and then refrigerator at food is going to be the value. So it's gonna give us milk one and eggs 12 because it's gonna go first through this one and then through this one, just like a for loop, right? Uh, so we've defined the variable food in the loop ahead, pardon me, in the loop head. And this thing is called the loop head right here. They just told us right here. Uh, and it's variable was set to each of the object's keys on each iteration, resulting in each food's name being printed to the console. All right. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So let's look at this. Objects do not maintain an order, pardon me, an ordering to stored keys like arrays do. Thus a key's position on an object or the relative order in which it appears is irrelevant when referencing or accessing the keys, all right? And the, the first uh, example that comes to mind of this is if you play League of Legends, right? And you're in the champ select and uh, you're, you're getting your runes together and you're just picking the pre-made runes because you don't know what's up. You don't, you don't really, you know, it's, it's just a pre-made rune set. And you know how every single time, like if you're playing Blitzcrank every single time, it's gonna have, uh, the it's going to have the the green one here and then the two blues and then the next time it's going to have a blue here and a green one here and a blue one here and then the blue one and the blue one and the green one and it's just always random it's basically because those th those three things are sitting inside of an, of an object and like this says it's never in the same order it's it's the order is irrelevant to objects it doesn't care so it'll just put it in whatever order it feels like Right. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, so we've defined a function count online, which accepts one argument, all users right here. OK, uh, we're going to use a for in statement inside this function to loop through the all users object and return the number of users whose online property is set to true. OK, so an example of an object which could be passed to count online is shown below right here. Uh, each user will have an online property set to either true or false. Okay. So basically for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to do this for in statement to start off with. I mean, this is the same as this, so we don't need to go over that. So we're going to do this for in right here. Uh, and I'll try to make it a little more easy to understand. So we'll say for and we'll say let. I don't use const for these. So you can use const or let. I say let because it's just, you know, it's easier. Uh, so we're going to say let key in all, whoops, all users. Okay. So what is this, right? So the argument is all users. And when we pass the uh, argument into count online, we're passing this one right here. So this is going into this. But when we're inside of here, we're, just like for any function, we're referring to the uh, argument name and not what's passed into it. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. All right, so let's come down here and we're going to say something like this. Uh, what did we want to do? We wanted to see if it's true, we're going to add it to a count. Also, let's come in front of this thing and say, let count equals zero. So we can add something to this count, all right? 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to say if, uh, and then we're going to say all users at key, okay? Because it's just like this, how refrigerator uh, is referring to food, right? So if all users at key, and in this in this case, when, it's, when we're passing in users, it's going to be users at the key. So all users at the key, right? Uh, so when, so if all users at key dot online, because we're accessing this inside of the <laughs> dot online, <laughs> how am I supposed to explain this to you guys? So uh, users, all users dot key, uh, excuse me, all users at key dot online, right? So that's how that works, right? Hopefully you guys remember that stuff. Uh, if that's true, also, we don't have to say equals true, remember? So we could just leave it like this. So if it's true, it'll it'll be true. So if it's true, what we're going to do is say count, whoops, count plus plus. So we're going to add one to the count if it's true, right? And then after all this is said and done, what we're going to do is return uh, the count, okay? Which is one, all right? So let's go through what this is doing. So we're passing in, we're passing in this into this function call right here, okay? And so it's gonna go through, and first it starts with this uh, initial variable of count, and then we're gonna say uh, if all if all users dot key, because we're going through each key, just like we did here, we went through this key and this key when we when we did the food thing. So if this key is true, okay, which this one is not, we're gonna add one to, we're gonna do count plus plus, so add one to count. Uh, this one is false, so we're not adding one. So we go to the next one, Jeff, online, true. It's true, so we add one to the count, okay? And then we get down here to Sarah, and it's false, and so we don't add it again, and then we return the count. So the count is one because there's only one true. If we change this to true, Okay, now it's two. If we change this to true, now it's three, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if not, there, there's, a, there's so many Code Wars lessons on this that, trust me, you'll, you, you, will, you, will, you will learn this. I mean, the only way you lose is if you quit, guys. So let's come down here, run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to generate an array of all object keys with object.keys, and we'll see you next time.